I'm going to call this video Keep Going. Uh, I've, I've seen some comments, and I, I see a lot of you guys are going for it. There's one guy or gal, sorry, I should have looked at the comment, uh, that's, that's been going for 20 months. You are so close to your breakthrough. Uh, keep going. Uh, I mentioned before in the video, uh, you know, get your life back. That you can, you know, be like a kid again. You can, you can be normal without medication. I wondered that a lot. Uh, I would, you know, set the timer on the microwave. I'd take the dose with some bicarbonate soda, and I'd just sit there and wait. And I knew that, you know, as soon as the pills kick in, I'd have maybe an hour to eat, watch TV, then I'd have to sleep maybe for an hour or two, and then I'd wake up in a panic probably dreaming that I lost my pills or that I was, you know, uh, you know, who knows? It was always about that, though. I would always have these nightmares about that. The doctor was, you know, leaving town or who knows. And then I'd, you know, have to sit around and watch the clock and wait. And about every eight hours I could take it. It was pretty pathetic. And, you know, when I was detoxing, uh, you know, even though I would have bouts of, you know, panic disorder like anxiety, it was still better than living that way, for sure. So, you know, when I found that information um, about the protein and the, you know, the two years and everything, I didn't know if it was true or not, but I didn't really care. It was still better than living like that. You know, you might get a week or two. You might even, you know, get a month. Uh, you know, who knows? Uh, you know, not everybody's going to, you know, be just like I was. Uh, I had a friend that he, you know, he had a little bit easier of a ride through this than I did. So, you know, you never know. Um, but, you know, it. I thought I was in hell several times when I used to, uh, you know, I was going through withdrawals. I mentioned before it lasted for decades. And, uh, you know, once your dose... Once you take it, you know, the benzos for long enough, you, you, it doesn't even work anymore. I remember when I first started to take that stuff, I, I would literally get high. I would feel euphoric. I didn't have any problems. I was happy. It was like a miracle. You know, I had no idea what I was getting myself into at all. You know, I found that, you know, I thought I found the, you know, the magic pill. And the next thing I know, man... Oh, gosh, you know, I was, oh, I must be having more panic attacks. And then I was taking it, you know, during the day instead of at night. And you know, then I was running out of medicine. And, and then, you know, that was just pretty much, you know, all history after that. But, uh, you know, <laughs> the, you know, if you're going to have times where, uh, you know, it's going to feel like you're out of it. You know, I mean, out of the, you know, the forest, you're going to be feeling normal. You're going to, you're going to feel uh, like you've got it beat. Sometimes it lasts for a while and, you know, make a mental note of that because I'm going to guarantee you that even those days uh, are going to be, you know, a shadow of what you're going to have when this is over. When, when you finally break through and, you know, that post-acute withdrawal stops permanently uh you know even the best day that you have uh you know during this time period that you, that you know you have to go through is gonna you know it, it's gonna be nothing compared to that you're you're gonna be just and i mentioned that in the video it's like when you were a kid before you needed anything all natural you know you don't you, you know you don't need that it seems like you need it but you don't and, you know, with the, a lot of the misdiagnosis that, that's out there, uh, you know, it can be intimidating. I, I was, you know, I was afraid to step out and really try it again after that doctor gave me that false information. He told me that I could do it for 10 years and it wouldn't get any better. You know, you're just banging your head against a brick wall. You might as well, you know, get hooked up with a bunch of pills and just get ready to die. You know, I mean, it... That set me off on, you know, over another decade of addiction. You don't have to live this way. You don't. You don't have to, you know, be a slave uh, to, to your pills. You don't. And I was. 
I was a complete slave to those things. It was a nightmare. So, you know, uh, just remember that. Mark it off on the calendar. You know, make a mental note, whatever. If you have that good day, just just keep in mind that uh, when, when this finally breaks, when this is finally over, uh, it's going to be like that every day, but even better. Guys, take care of yourselves. Keep going.